Hey guys, so I'm going to show you how to hoverboard for beginners. So I'm going to teach you how to get on, get off, uh, move, and twirl, and what speed you should start at, and then work your way up. So hoverboarding is actually pretty easy. It's all about balance and movement in your toes, knees, and hips. So first I'm going to show you how to get on. So first you got to get off to get on, right? Okay. So to get on, you just put your weaker foot on or whatever foot you're more comfortable putting on. I usually put my weaker foot on. I can do both. Like I can do this, but I'm stronger from my weak foot on than my strong foot on. So weak, strong. So do that three times and I'll do it with you. So your comfortable foot. And it comes on last, or whatever you're comfortable with. On. Oh, I haven't showed you how to get off. Sorry, guys. Um, so to get off, you have to add. Uh, so you're on the hoverboard, right? Like I told you, I never even showed you how to get off, which was pretty dumb. So to get off, you put whatever foot you're more comfortable putting down first, first and then second. And it sometimes will twirl. So... You've learned to get on and get off. Get on and off three times. I'll do it with you. One, on, off. On, off. On, off. Yeah. So, um, sorry if that was a little fast. Um, so, now I'm going to show you how to move. So, to move, you just got to get on, obviously. Well, so, you're going to move. You're just going to go forward like this is what it looks like obviously you probably know but if you don't this is what it looks like to move uh, yeah so then to move um sorry guys we need to get the kitchen out of our view because we're not using the kitchen Whoa. see i didn't put pressure on this foot i went like this see oh see i can't control my plus weight on one so I went like this. I took it off and I started spinning out of control. So always put the same amount of pressure on both feet. So to move, it's all about the hips, the knees, and the toes. So you can um, so you bend your knees. Sorry, I'll show you. You want to bend your knees. Bend your knees, okay, so you'll start to probably drift a little bit, because you'll be like, don't stand, lean forward, oh, yeah, lean forward, so, um, so it, once you bend your knees and lean forward, you'll start to move a little bit like me, don't worry, it's normal, just keep your balance, put your arms out if you need to, so, and then use your toes, and your foot, so if you want to move forward, you're not going to go like this, so now you're moving backward. And then you want to, sorry, you're going to want to um, bend your knees, lean forward, and put your feet forward, point your, point your toes forward. So then, after I'm going to show you how to go backward. So let's get on, get off, uh, get on, move, and then get off again three times. So start off. Sorry, my sometimes the hoverboards don't let you turn. Okay, so one, two, three. Get on, get off, get on, get off, get on, get off. Now we're gonna do that in move. So get on. Move forward. Now get off. Get on. Move. Get up. Get on. Move. Get up. Okay, so once you've got the hang of that. You're going to want to, um, I want to show you how to turn because sometimes you're going to go right into a wall. Um, 
So you're just gonna want to turn. So put your shoulders back. If you want to turn, I'm gonna turn this way. Yeah. So put your shoulders back, not like all the way back. Just put them back to a line that's like the center of your back, and then put your arms straight at your hips while your shoulders are back. Now, put your hips out. Like, if you want to turn, I'm turning the way I showed you. So, I'm going to take my hip, I'm going to put it out, and now I'm going to pretty much spin. So, it's kind of hard to explain how to twirl, but if, after a little, I want you to get the hang of it. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to. Um, How, what speed you should be going at for a beginner? This, and now I'm going to show you how to get. Actually, I'm going to show you how to go backwards because I already showed you the speeds with the warm ups, pretty much. So now I'm going to show you how to go backwards. You're going to want to put your head behind, like by your shoulder, so you can see where you're going because you don't want to back into something. Uh, I know I have a bed behind me, so I know my surroundings. And you, I'm going to go forward so you guys can see me. Just don't, like, if don't, that's not backing up, so. Um, I'm looking at the screen because I have to know if I'm still on. And then go forward and move backward. It's just putting your heels and your shoulders back. It's the same thing as moving forward. Just your shoulders and your heels back. So, so um, yeah. I'm still looking at the camera because I know my surroundings. But I'm going to show you my expert speed. So how I, my actual speed. Sorry guys, my hoverboard sometimes gets stuck in a position. And it just did twice. Okay, so. So that was, that was not good. That's my normal speed, guys. And I'm going to show you how to turn your hoverboard off. Always get off backward because if you go forward, you're going to spin. So, what you're going to do. Here, I'm going to break my hoverboard up over here. Sorry about that. Uh, the, um. Brown thing, it's uh, my dining room table. So, the lights are forward, always forward. So, yeah, then there are two buttons here, right here and right here. This is the charging cord, this is to turn it off. To turn it off, you just go push it, and it's off. Then, turn it on. The beeping is 100% normal. It will beep three times when you turn it on, uh, and it will show a little rotation sign. So, watch. It says red. But when I try to write it, it says green. So, that's normal. So, when you turn it off, there's a cap of beep. So, listen. That's on. That's off. Okay, so I showed you how to write a hoverboard for beginners. So, if you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section below. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a like, a thumbs up, and if you have any feedback, also put it in the comment section. And also, um, don't forget to share, show your friends, and of course, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.